Welcome back. Turning to your weather now with Storm Tracker 4 forecaster Cristiano Ramos on this Sunday night. So what are you doing for the eclipse tomorrow? Oh man, I don't know. It's my day off. Yeah. So there's no excuse for me to miss it, right? You got to see it. It only comes around what, 20 years? Yeah. Every 20 the next years? one, the next full one's what, 21 years from now? Yeah. And we so got some good weather to enjoy this one. We really do. It's going to be mild temperatures out there, light breeze, and the cloud coverage, it looks like it is going to be fair out there. So mostly uh, sunny skies tomorrow, and then during uh, eclipse, it won't be too bad. We might see one or two clouds, but it shouldn't block your viewing. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. So yes, we are tracking that solar eclipse. Cool and breezy out there throughout the first half of the week, and then a big warm up by the end of the week. We're talking possibly the 90s. So let's track that cloud coverage. It looks like just before sunrise clouds move out of Tucson. We'll see cloudier skies in Cochise, Graham and Greenlee counties, but you can see by the time of the eclipse, it does move out of the area. We do have a few clouds on future cast popping up uh, throughout Pima County, but it looks like we are going to still be able to see that eclipse uh, throughout the max eclipse, which is around lunchtime. And then as we head towards the afternoon and evening hours, we'll start to see mostly sunny skies out there to partly cloudy throughout the evening ahead of a small rain chance into Tuesday. We're also tracking some wind speeds pretty good out there. 22 mile per hour wind speeds sustaining in Bisbee, 24 in Douglas, 20 in Sierra Vista. So it looks like areas east of Tucson, you're going to get a little bit more breezier conditions. And then it looks like about 13 mile per hour uh, wind speeds in Tucson that will carry through throughout the afternoon and evening ahead of our next weather maker. So our next weather maker is this closed off low centered throughout the western portions of our state. It's not going to spark off a rain chance on Monday, but this is causing those breezy conditions and a little bit more cloud coverage throughout the afternoon. Then we fast forward to Tuesday morning when this is pushing off more towards the east. It looks like a small rain chance east of Tucson uh, and more towards the south near the border uh, Tuesday morning. So we're only going to go with a small chance, no higher than 20% coverage. And right behind that system, we see strong ridge of high pressure coming out of the Pacific. What this is going to do, it's going to cut out rain chances and bump up those temperatures as we head into Thursday and Friday. How warm are we going to get? Not 100 degree warm, possibly 90 degrees, but this is a perfect opportunity to mention our news for Tucson ice break. This is when you guess the date and time of our first 100 degree day. You can go ahead and enter that via our news for Tucson app for a chance to win a stay at the Desert Diamond Casino or a free AC unit. Current temperatures out there right now about 48 in Tombstone, low 50s throughout Cochise, Graham and Greenlee counties, about 58 slightly warmer in Tucson, 47 in Oracle right now, 48 in Nogales. As we head into tonight, temperatures are going to fall into 30s and 40s. We are going to be seeing temperatures um, about 36 degrees uh, as we look into Wilcox, so it's not going to be as cold as it was last night. And then temperatures warming up into the upper 60s, low 70s for that 10-day tracker. Looks like the first half of the week is going to be a little bit cooler, below average 10 to 15 degrees, but then we start to warm back up by the end of the week. Looks really nice for the eclipse and beyond. I think so too, yes. All right, thank you, Christiana.